I'm going to be stuck here forever. There is just... There's no way I can leave. Yep. This is my life now. Realistically, I couldn't leave even if I wanted to. You think I like running Tyrell's Ego 10 times back to back just to not get a frozen shooter? No. But I do it. You think I enjoy feeding my mag every three minutes without fail just in the hope that that little asshole will love me enough to turn into something that might be worth keeping and not throwing away. The truth is, I'm cursed to fight these space chickens for the rest of my life. When I jumped back into Fantasy Star Online, I thought to myself, it's a 20 plus year old game. You know, you played it on the Dreamcast. Once nostalgia gets out of the way, you'll be done. You'll be fine. You won't even need to play it anymore. Don't worry about it. There'll be something else. There's always something else. Never came. Never came. I'm still here. Stuck. Looking at this. Yep. Do you realize that at least once a week, without fail, I'll wake up to hearing rare drop sounds in my sleep. This game has such a vice on me and many others that it very much laughs in the face of people that want to quit. It's like this game has got a built-in sense of awareness as to when you're slightly starting to not enjoy yourself and then it just injects little dopamine hits inside of it. Oh, that weapon that you've had for 30 levels that you're now bored of? Well, whoa, huh, just before you log out, Here's a brand new one. You can thank me later for that. I see. So you're on your 17th TTF of the day. Well, it'd be a shame if you just leveled up and that's, that's all you need. That tiny little sound. I mean, in, in the grand scheme of things, it means nothing. But you can't help it because you're addicted. I'm addicted. Help. I wouldn't be lying to you if I told you that I set an alarm for 4 a.m. the other day just so I could play this game before work. I'm 30 years old. PSO kind of reminds me of that really odd, creepy uncle that you've got that no matter what you do to try and avoid him, he just keeps sort of creeping his way into your bedroom. Is that, is that what I have written down? This game gets us so excited about the most basic objects that when I first ever found my very first double saber, I rang my mum. I was 26 years old. If you try to explain this game to any non-playing purist, then it's quite a hard sell because ultimately the graphics are barely even graphics. To the naked, untrained eye, they are actually quite shocking. As much as the private servers do try to clear them up, and jazz them up a little bit, they kind of do have a face that only a mother could love. Does that, does that mean, am I a mother? The gameplay face value is about as technical as your year three PE teacher and ultimately the combat loop should essentially just send you to sleep, but it doesn't. And for those of us that it doesn't do that to, I can tell you why. It's because we can see what is on the other side. We see what is in the promised land, okay? We see what's out there. Just like a cheap student night, it's full of red rings and hope. Hope that after your next dire, tedious fight towards Olga Flow, they'll finally drop the PGF that you've been absolutely aching and longing for. Even that, even if it doesn't drop a PGF, hopefully it drops something that you can produce to your parents to say, please love me. To those of us that see past the naysayers, we are the ones that build each other up after every single premature discharge of a photon blast. We're the ones that pat each other on the back and say, it's okay, you know? It happens to everyone. It happens to the best of us. To others, they see poor graphics. They see poor gameplay. To us, we see charm. We see a warmth 
that other games can't provide. It almost reminds us of when our parents never split up. And even when your nostalgia, if that's what this is, even when your nostalgia wears off, you've played the game for a little while, boom. Ah, fuck. You're in Ultimate. Now, Ultimate is where, to, to quote bad boys, shit gets real. And I'm not just talking about the drops. The game, in my opinion, starts in Ultimate. Yes, you have to get to 80 levels before you can do anything. Appreciate that's a lot. That's like going to a bank to ask for a loan, but the preconditions are you need to give them 80 grand before you can borrow the next 120. Okay, it's kind of a moot point, but hear me out. Ultimate is where the people are. You know, you're not just stood around like me, just looking at things like you are from normal to very hard. You're, you're in the meat and potatoes, baby. This is where it happens. This is what we came for. I don't know where I'm going with this, but you get my point. Ultimate is PSO at its finest. Even when you get to level 80, you think I've seen this. Oh, look. It's the forest again. Looks like I'm just gonna have to walk through here again for another 120 levels. Well, you're wrong because you enter the forest, my friend. In Ultimate, there is a really nice sunset. Now that sunset is gonna fool you and it's kind of setting the tone because past that sunset is misery, but misery in a good way. Once you get to Ultimate, you are signing a legally binding contract. I love how at this point anyone that's actually got to Ultimate is now flicking through their notes thinking, fuck, 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 what have I signed, what have I signed? You are now contractually obliged to play PSO for the rest of your life. Because let's face it, if you've reached 80 levels in a game that's over 20 years old, I'm sorry buddy, you're sold, you're in, welcome, join us. Where would you like to sit? Anyway, up to you. This is where the game really, really shines and it's at the absolute top of its competition. Yes, for the most part, most weapons have a three hit combo. Yes, in terms of graphics, there are a quite a small polygon count, shall we say. You don't even know what a polygon is. Who cares? When you're having this much fun, we could be playing on fucking squares. If, if, you, if you don't take my word for, for how, how good Ultimate is, then that, that is a, a weird turtle version of whatever the first monster is. So let that be a, you know, selling point. I guess to bring some sort of roundabout conclusion to this otherwise pointless video is that to me, what I enjoy and uh, really gravitate towards in video games these days are not high intensity graphics, high intensity gameplay. It's more stuff that is below the surface level, stuff that you can only really find when you dig and dig and dig. And PSO really is that. It encourages you to dig. Face value, if you're only going to play it for 10 minutes, then you're only going to see the boring combat in brackets. You're only going to see the poor graphics. I'm going to stop doing this now because this is winding me up. But you know what I mean? These older games, they really give you an element to invest into. And without sounding like a kind of like one game, one genre Andy, I really struggle to, to find myself in many other worlds. I've recently just dipped my toe back in Lord of the Rings Online after playing Final Fantasy XIV. And you know what? I really thought I would struggle to get back into it, but actually I'm having more fun playing that than I am any other more modern MMO, just because it's got that kind of 2000-ish feel to it, a feel of, Yes, it's rough around the edges, and you know, by, by all means, what we have now is, is technically, so I've used it again, fuck, is technically so much better, but it just leaves a bit of a void. And that void, ladies and gentlemen, is exactly why you're here watching this video. To anyone who is brand new to this channel, please do feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed your time here. Subscribe for more content just like this. We make anything from Fantasy Star Online videos, Lord of the Rings, MMOs, that sort of thing. I've been me, you've been you. Thank you so much for watching.